Hello and welcome to Legislative Report. I'm State Representative Mario Scabello of the 176th District in Monroe County. I'm joined by Repre with Representative Rosemary Brown of the 189th District. And I really have an exciting show and we're going to talk about the HK Mission Ministry and they're associated with the Innovation Church in, in um, Paradise Valley. And I'm joined with, by, with Dawn Rack and Lee Petrick. And Dawn, I just want you to know that the conversation uh, really begins with Jim Kentz, who's a mutual friend, who did a show with myself and, and Representative Brown about a year ago about him donating a kidney mm -hmm. to someone in the in the um, in, at the church there that was in need of a kidney, yeah. and stopped in my in my office and talked about you. He says we've got to have a show with, with you doing, and we need to talk about the good things that you're doing through the HK Mission uh, Ministry. So if you can um, start us off, what made you? first get involved with the ministry? Well, years ago, both my children were very sick. Kendra and um, my son Hunter, hence the name HK, HK oh. Mission. They were named after um, Hunter is the H, Kendra is the K. Um, the ministry is HK Mission Healing Through Kindness. Mm -hmm. They were both very sick when they were younger. Um, they were both in the ho in and out of the hospital. Uh, Kendra was in a specialty hospital and they were both in a regular hospital. I saw the differences between the two hospitals and to me um, a children's hospital has all the bells and whistles and a regular hospital has nothing for these children to do. And I vowed back then when my children were healthy enough that I would make a difference. And the kindness that was shown to my children when they were in the hospital. The Bible preaches about paying it forward mm -hmm. and doing acts of kindness. So um, I, I became ill last year and um, through my bed rest process, I came up with this mission about healing through kindness and paying it forward. And that's basically what this is all about. And Innovation Church has um, supported me and taken on this mission and it's grown quite rapidly in a short period of time. Wow. Now, we've, our, we have a, a Lee here with you, but uh, before we talk to Lee, we've got a tremendous amount of Girl Scouts here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, you know, so I, I'm assuming that the Girl Scouts somehow or other got involved in the mission. Yes. Um, the, uh, our local hospital, Pocono Medical Center, um, when a child is um, isolated to a room, Kendra, when she was younger, she had RSV and, and pneumonia. She was uh, medevaced over to Geisinger. And Geisinger has a um, program, it's called Red Box. Each child can go and take out as many DVDs as they want, mm -hmm. and they can view it in their room mm -hmm. for the um, children who are quarantined. Kendra mm -hmm. was one of those children. We weren't even allowed to stay over at the Ronald McDonald House because of RSV that Kendra had. Um, Pocon Medical Center doesn't have anything like that, so um, I came up with the idea, well, several people came up with the idea about um, having a DVD drive about children who outgrow there are DVDs mm -hmm. and donating them over the hospital and coming up with a library so these children can now bring, you know, keep them busy in their room. So I was talking to Lee about it and Lee took this on and came up with the DVD drive. Okay, Lee. <laughs> tell us, tell us how, how, we, how you did it and uh, well, how Don, success. Don and I kind of met our, my middle child is a Daisy Girl Scout with her daughter Kendra, so we kind of, you know, started talking about it at the Daisy meetings and then I also have my own brownie troupe, which is back here behind me. And uh, I said to Don, I'm like, you know, we don't need just a couple movies. We need to, we need to get these kids a good collection, you know, a good couple hundred movies. So. What the girls and I decided to do was we wrapped big boxes with Christmas wrapping paper. We made a beautiful Girl Scout sign, HK Mission sign, and put that on that. And we contacted all our local establishments, and we placed these boxes over the holidays at our post office, at the banks, at churches, at the diner, everywhere. And we collected for about two weeks over the holidays. Um, our initial drive, we came up with about 200 movies and then following that even at our school at Barrett Elementary Center we were allowed to place a box there and just word of mouth through the school and friends and family and churches and everything we now have about 400 movies. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well this, this program has moved very fast mm -hmm. as well and, and Dawn when you were sick last year. Yes. So it was March. March 2nd. And you really had this take off in October. October 4th, the mission was birthed and became nationwide in three weeks. 
nationwide in over 31? 31 states. 31 states in a matter of three really, weeks. Yeah, three weeks. So it really we is taking off. We should have a running campaign. <laughs> That's <first>. right. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. So you can see how, mm -hmm. how it's accepted so widely and how yes. the need for it. Yes. is very large. Yes. So, um, but I think that's, a, that's an important point you're seeing. And, and we were talking a little bit about the Girl Scouts and the Brownies and their involvement and the patch. Yes. That has also become, I said, that, that's historic you in itself the because there's a patch yes. that these girls can earn. Well, so. I felt that the Girl Scouts did such a phenomenal job with this DVD drive that I wanted to come up with a way of thanking them. So I contacted a patch maker and we developed an HK Mission patch so that I can gift the girls their patches. Well, it became such a hit that Girl Scouts throughout the United States wanted to become involved. So I came up with a program where um, these girls can participate and do what I'm doing here at our local hospital. And now Girl Scouts are now reaching out to their local hospitals and doing exactly what I'm doing and making a difference at their local hospitals. So Amazing. it's all about, you know, putting together this pouch, providing activities for a child, and then the also pouch. providing mom hope. So each pouch is touching two lives. It's not only about entertaining a child, it's providing mom hope. I was that mom. I was that mom to watch her child being held down while a nurse sticks an IV in her arm and your child is, is crying out to you to make it stop, but you know you can't because it's what's best for your child. And I want to provide hope in that desperate time of need. So each mom will receive a book of hope and um, a kindness card, which is our mission card, and it's all about paying it forward one day like what I'm doing. And also will be in, in each um, book. I mean, I didn't, know what, I didn't know how to pray for my child, so I came up with, um, it's a letter from me, and it's all prayers that you can say for your child. So nice. in that dark hour, when you're, you know, you, you're looking for something, I'm providing it for that mom. And also, it's also about getting kids involved. Kids making cards for kids, kids helping out kids. I had one little girl that came to me with 116 of her unused pencils and said, I want to give these to the kids in the hospital. <coughs> it's kids thinking about other kids. It's really taking on a life which of its own. Which is important. Yeah, it really has. And Do people who are it? helping through this have, there's, there's this one woman, she, she lost her son two years ago, and I came up with a new part of the spring outreach about empty Easter eggs, about coming up with inspirational messages to put in there, and she has taken on this, and she has thanked me every day, and I'm like, thank me. It's healing her through her grief. So it's people who are helping are actually healing. Other people. So it's really... Kendra has the, the pouch, yes. right, Kendra? <laughs> And Hunter, are you going to come out from over there? Come out. We're, we're going to show this pouch. This is the H and the K. So, um, but Kendra is going to show the pouch off, right, Kendra? So show this off. So there's all kinds of things for the mm -hmm. kids in here, um, on top of yes. the the spiritual and the healing, and for the and the cards. And it's and also an insulated pouch so that kids can keep things cold bedside because that's very important. Right. As well. And these so. are the things you realize when you're going through. Yes. A type of situation yes. that you have. I, I'll be honest, you know, no, I never had a loss for words, but <laughs> listen to you, I'm at a loss for words, what you've been able to accomplish. And, well, and it's not only and me, and I have to say. Well, you started it and <laughs> yes. put it together, and, you know. So many people have their hands in this. There's so many people in church who have helped me. Um, people from church have made hats or donated the kindness cards. I mean, and the reason why this has taken off and it is so important, this is a 31 product. Um, it's just like Mary Kay or these Christian women, uh, 31 is, is a Christian based or um, product. These th Christian women have taken on this mission and they are the ones who are spreading it nationwide. It's not me, nice. it's them. They are the ones that are taking credit. So yes, I can take credit of the, what's been laid on my heart by God, but that's all I can take credit for. <laughs> Gemini many good people are out there? Yes. Oh right? And I'm sure in 31, in just a few months, what it will look like in a year from now with the amount of people involved. So, so you're still actively looking for more volunteers and yes. um, kids in to our make local cards. community. <laughs> kids to make cards. That's other fabulous, troops, right other there. Girl Scout troops and Brownie troops. Yes. Mm. Good. Good. That, that was our first outreach, uh, the Christmas pouches. Oh, nice. We, d we donated 100 pouches over to Pocono Medical Center, personally, and, but throughout the United States, a lot of different 31 reps reached out to their local hospitals and donated them as well.
Very nice. Any idea how many families you've touched? No idea. <laughs> I could imagine, you know, just the, you know, with that type of 31, you know, people out there, how many families that they've hit mm -hmm. and helped. Um, in Monroe, have you, in, in, in Monroe County, how many families have you given pouches to? Do you have any idea? Well, there was 100 pouches that went over to Pocono Medical Center, and each pouch touches two lives. Wow. So the mother and the child. The mother right. and the child. Right. Wow. So, and if everybody did one pouch, that's two lives. And then if you then the kindness card, that's what's so important about the kindness card, because it's all about you've been touched by an act of kindness. Now it's your turn to pay it forward. It's simple. I, I know, it's I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, well, it's everything that we talk about a lot is empathy <laughs> and <laughs> passion, you know, compassion for people and helping people and not always thinking about yourself. Yeah. Right. So, and the power of prayer is yes. so wonderful, too. I mean, and there's been scientific studies on the power of prayer yes. and in health. So, it's that in itself is really nice to hear that you have And we pay, that. pray over our pouches be, before they go out. So, that's important as well because it is a Christian based ministry. And 31 is a Christian-based company. Mm -hmm. That's why I chose uh, 31, because it's so important, you know, to have that nowadays. So, uh. so let me, the, in the 31 other areas in the, co in, in, mm -hmm. in the country, all Girl Scouts are involved? And 31 reps. And, and, 31 and I'm reps. now working on a new chapter. Oh. Alpha Phi Omega, uh -huh. I'm oh, alumni. Okay. Alpha Phi Omega is a co-ed service fraternity mm -hmm. and I was a member in college and I'm an alumni brother and I'm currently working on um, with a couple of alumni. We are now going to be branching out into that area as well nice. <laughs> to get onto campuses and what, what a <laughs> so you that's know, you're getting them young and you're getting them just about when they're ready yes. to get out into mm -hmm. Fabulous. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> That's my new, that was last week's idea. <laughs> but you know, you never stop because you, 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 you just never know and I'm doing who's it all out there in need. And, and you never, Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of, my daughter's right now going through something. Right. So you really don't know. You just don't know. You, and it just shows up within a, within a week and you really have no concept. Mm -hmm. And you right. can help anywhere because be honest with you, I had a stroke last year, and this whole mission has been birthed on a laptop in bed. I spent a lot of my time in bed, and you can make a difference anywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, and I, the H and the K obviously are your children's you names, but it's also healing. It's healing, and healing kind, through, kindness, through kindness, spreading the love so of Jesus oh through one simple pouch. Oh that's <laughs> that's my task. Lee, I know you're kind of shy, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say shy, just not a public speaker. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. Um, how long have you been with scouting? Um, this is my third year. Uh -huh. So it's my first year as a leader. Uh -huh. um, and it's just one of, the, one of the lines in our Girl Scout law is to make a world a better place. So, and when I bumped into Dawn and at school, and it, it was a mom from our community. You know, you're supporting your own community. It's a mom who's supporting our mm -hmm. hospital that one day hopefully none of these children are at. Mm -hmm. it, it just touched to my heart. Like, I couldn't do anything but jump full on board with her. So Have you, uh, and just in Monroe, like, do you have other uh, Girl Scouts, but, but uh, Luzerne, Lackawanna, and Northampton, I'm thinking right in the back of my mind how we can grow this even bigger. That's the politician. Yeah. I mean. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have, has that, That's true, yeah. you know, Carbon County, because uh, right. there's hospitals in all these counties, right, right here in Pennsylvania. Yep, you got it. We are, we're members of Girl Scouts in the heart of PA. Mm -hmm. Girl Scouts in Eastern PA are right next to us. You mm -hmm. know, there's several councils throughout Pennsylvania and obviously across the whole, you know, the whole country. Um, I did invite Dawn to one of our council meetings, so mm -hmm. she got to come speak you know she got to spread her word to all the other leaders in our council so and hopefully from there you know it does spread throughout to the other councils Great. now are you're looking still for items or anybody else that wants to help anybody who else wants to get involved it's simple i have a facebook page they can jump on board they can contact me there they can email me my email address right on, on there just go on to facebook hk mission just HK type mission. it in okay you can get a coloring book you can get crayons like the smallest little things will make a difference to that child in a hospital mm -hmm. it doesn't need to be big extravagant gifts right. just and if you can't do that make a card Dawn and Lee, thank you very much for coming today to, to share with all of us your mission. I think we're very impressed.
with what you've well, done. Thank you very much. We have a little thank you gift. Here's a hat for you, oh, and wow. here's a hat for you. I, I didn't get the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> you can fight over it later. I get like you. Brownie Troop 50077 would like to give you a Girl Scout patch. Oh, thank you so much. Very nice. Put it right Very here. nice. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I never got a, a Girl Scouts patch before. Listen, girls, I want all of you to remember this. But maybe 10 or so years from now, I want to make sure you guys stay in scouting and get your gold award. That's the top patch award that you can get as a Girl Scout. Now, if you get that, you call me and I'll come to your, your gold award. Representative Brown will come to your gold award ceremony, okay? And we'll do something special for you, I promise you, okay? <laughs> but don't stop until you get the gold. Got All right? Girl. That's the highest award that you can get as a Girl, girl Scout. It will stay with you for the rest of your life. Okay? And Allie, you were great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm State Representative Rosemary Brown with State Representative Marius Cavello. Thank you for watching this portion of Legislative Report.